Hi, welcome to this video on Decision Mathematics. Um, this video is just going to be a couple of uh, definitions for the sort of graph section of D1. If you de if you normally watch my other sort of videos like the Quick Economics, then this might not be the video for you. But I was making these uh, as a revision resource and I thought I might as well share them with you guys and make a video out of it. Um, so I'll start off with obviously a graph. Um, and a graph consists of edges or arcs which are what join together two nodes or vertices and um the single like the singular version of vertices is called a vertex and just sort of get that in and where graph has um the edges have weights associated with them then it's called a network uh this could be called a weighted graph as well so for example uh these vertices or nodes that are joined together could be cities joined together by roads and the weight is the length in kilometers of the road or something like that and then a subgraph is basically a graph that's derived from another graph and it, all of the nodes and vertices are obviously from there but it doesn't have all of them for example uh, in this picture all of the vertices and nodes from graph b are from graph A, so B is a subgraph of graph B, uh, A. Sorry. Uh, then we have valency, uh, which is also known as the degree or order, and this is the number of edges that are incident to a vertex. So basically, it's the number of edges that go into or out of um, a vertex. So, for example, if we look here, we've got a valency of three because it's got three sort of going into it and that there is called a loop um, and a loop the definition of that is simply an edge uh, that ends at the same vertex uh, as it starts at so if you want to pause the video just for a couple of seconds to have a go at uh, guessing what these are uh, filling them in okay and the answers are the first one has two uh, edges going into it so that's got a valency of two our second one also has a valency of 2, the third one has a valency of 3, the fourth one has a valency of 2, and our last one has a valency of 1. So if it's got an even valency, like this one here where it's got 2, then it's called even valency, or its order or degree is even, and the thing goes for is it, if it has uh, an odd valency. So a path is a finite sequence of edges starting at one vertex and then we're going to end up at another vertex. So it's also also uh, part of this is that you can't use any of the vertices more than once. So a few examples on here are A, B, C, D, G or F, B, C, D, G or perhaps a bit of a longer one. We've got H, G, D, C, B, F, I. So that's quite simple. And then we have a walk. Now a walk is the same thing as a path, but this time we can use the vertices more than once. So perhaps we might have A, C, D, back to C, to F, and then back to C again. We could have one that's slightly longer. We could start at F, go to C, to A, to D, to G, to H, and then we can go back. We can go back to G, then back to C, then back to uh, back to D, sorry, then to C, and then to A. So that's just a path, but you can go over the vertices more than once. Um, and then moving away from that, if two vertices are, are con uh, connected, then there's a path between them. So this doesn't have to be directly. It could be, so for example here, these are connected because we could go up, uh, along a path. We could go from this node to this node, to the, uh, vertex to this vertex, to this vertex, to this vertex, to this vertex. So the C on the graph uh, on its own, it is connected. But this whole word, uh, if this was a graph, it wouldn't be connected because there's no path that I can go from this uh, vertex here on the C to this vertex here on the D. Um, then we have a simple graph and this is where every single pair of vertices is only connected by one edge. Um, this is sort of like directly. So obviously this um, uh, vertex is connected to this vertex but it's not directly connected to an edge. So basically, any two vertices are only connected directly by one edge. So here we have uh, 
this graph here, these two vertices are connected by two edges. They're not simple. This one has a loop on it. Um, that's also part of the definition. Like you can't have a loop in a simple graph. Uh, so, so the this graph here, where I've done this word simple, is a simple graph. Ooh, sorry. Um, a digraph means that the edges on the graph uh, are directed edges. They've got some sort of direction associated along uh, with it. So perhaps if you had uh, some sort of graph or diagram to represent um, a project or a task or something like that, then you might have arrows going from one vertice to another to represent, well, we can't go from task four to task three. We're going to do task three. After that, we're going to move on to task four. So there's some sort of direction associated with this um, edge. So digraph is just a graph that's got directed edges with it. Um, a tree uh, is a connected graph with no cycles. So uh, looking back earlier, all the vertices have to be connected together by some sort of path. But there can't be any cycles. Um, so basic, uh, I don't think I've actually defined a cycle, um, but basically... A cycle is where we go round and end up at the same vertex as we started. I think I might have actually, I think I've done one on one of these sheets and then skipped it by accident. Um, no, I haven't. I thought I had, but I was out. But yeah, basically, a cycle is a path where we start and end up at the same vertex. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry about this. Um, so yeah, this graph is a tree. There's no cycles. There's no way to go from here uh, all the way around here. You can sort of see what a cycle is. Uh, I, I, you can probably sort of see just from the picture. Um, and then a spanning tree is a subgraph that is also a tree. So it's got to be connected. There's going to be no cycles. There's going to be no loops and it's also a subgraph. So here B is a subgraph of A. All of its uh, vertices and all the edges are from A. And there's no cycles. If this vertice was connected to this vertice, there would be a cycle. I could go all the way around and back around here. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Oh, no, there's one more. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so complete graph is where every vertex is connected by an edge to every other vertex directly. So the amount of edges scales up very fast. If we look at uh, one with three no uh, vertexes, uh, only three edges. If we look at four, then we've got uh, six edges. With five, I th I'm not sure that's um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. I'll make, yeah, I'll make that ten edges. So you can see it, can, it goes up quite quickly. If we had one with six vertices, uh, we'd have something like 20 edges. And yes, that it, that was the last definition. Um, hopefully this might be a bit of a useful re revision resource for you. Uh, if not, and you did watch this whole video, then uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you should definitely check out my other series on other series is on whatever this pure plural of series is on YouTube. I've got one about general uh topics called facts about stuff and things where i've covered uh quite a few different topics like obesity apprenticeships uh, tesco atoms uh, all sorts of stuff um and then my quick economic series is basically about economics where i try to go over sort of uh key topics in economics in single videos as fast as i can and then every now and then i do one-off videos as well but anyway yeah thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video if you liked this one and want to see some more.